The 1.6 update for Stardew Valley has brought us many amazing positive things. But with that comes a cost. We do actually have some negative impacts for the 1.6 update that have personally affected me and I'm sure many of you as well and that is the price changes. There's been a number of price changes in Stardew Valley 1.6. Some good, some bad, some really bad. Certain things that used to sell for quite a lot of money that could be overpowered, especially early on in the game, have now been nerfed a little bit, which means it's harder to make money by doing these certain things that used to be once amazing. So we're going to go through the entire list of all price changes, starting off with the ones that are quite good and beneficial and maybe a little bit handy, and then we'll go down the list to the worst ones that can be actually quite harsh, and some of them are a little bit touchy for me. And when I say price changes, most of these are money, gold, but there's there's also a few on the list that are resource price change as well. For example, the first one here is the worm bin. Now, in order to craft the worm bin, you used to be able to use 25 pieces of hardwood, but now this has been reduced to 15. So 10 hardwood has been removed from the worm bin, which is a good thing. It means crafting worm bins in abundance quite early on is a much more convenient and less resource heavy. You know, hardwood's not an easy thing to get hold of, especially early on in the game. And worm bins aren't the best thing in Stardew Valley. So using 25 hardwood for these was a little bit like, ouch. So 15 hardwood now for the worm bins, which I think is really good. Now, another thing is building cabins for your friends for multiplayer. These no longer need materials. Before, when you used to build a cabin, you had to pay 100 gold and a few resources as well, depending on what type of cabin you built. So if you built the stone cabin, you'd use a bit of stone. The wood, you'd use wood. And then there was the other one, which was fiber. But now, you no longer need any resources. It is just 100 gold and you can select what variant of cabin you want just for 100 gold. That is another good change in my eyes, quite positive. Not too bad. And whilst we're talking about like buildings and Robin Shop the Carpenter, let's actually go on to the second house upgrade. So they have now raised the price of the second house upgrade. This is the one which adds the two bedrooms, which allows you to have children. So when you upgrade your house now, instead of it costing 50,000 gold like it used to, it's actually increased to 65,000 gold. So a 15K increase, which is a little bit harsh, but, they come as a positive with this as well because they have now reduced the number of hardwood needed for this as well. It used to be 150, but now you only need 100. We'll also move on to some home renovations. Most home renovations now cost money. Before, a lot of them used to be free. So if you wanted an extension, you could just go to Robin and she'll do it. But now they all cost money. So you can still remove cribs from your house for free. But if you want the open bedroom, which removes the wall separating the bedroom and the entrance room, this will now cost 10,000 gold. To add the southern room, which is a room to the south of your bedroom, this will now cost 30,000 gold. To add the corner room in the top right, the northeast corner of the house, this will be 20,000 gold. So they are the old classic renovations, but now we have three brand new ones as well, which is the dining room, which came with 1.6. This is going to cost a whopping 150,000 gold. We now have the new cubby as well. This is a little cubby next to the front door. This is only 10,000 gold. And then the last is the brand new attic, which is another staircase and a room at the top of the house. This is going to cost 60,000 gold. So yeah, all house renovations bar the crib is going to cost money. Now we're going to go on to some price increases of things in shops. The first one is the farm warp totem, the one that sends you back to your farm, which you could purchase from the casino. This used to cost 500 QI coins, but now this has increased to a thousand. So to purchase warp totems to the farm, they are now going to cost you double. I'm guessing this was maybe due to being a little bit overpowered, easily getting 500, getting a warp totem. You know, it kind of made the return scepter a little bit pointless. So I understand why they've done this. I personally never actually purchased these, so this doesn't really affect me too much. But yeah, that is an increase in the casino. Now we'll move on to the dwarf shop. This is bombs the price of bombs have now been increased now you'll have to let me know what these actually originally were because i have no idea i forgot and it doesn't say on here but cherry bombs are now 450 gold to buy like i said i don't know what these were before please let me know normal bombs are now a thousand gold for one very very pricey but the mega bomb comes in at a whopping 1600 gold for one so all bombs have now been increased 
if you want bombs, in year one, it is cheaper to go to the blacksmith, purchase four iron ore and one coal, which will only come to a total of 750 gold. Whereas if you buy the bomb upright, from the dwarf shop it's a thousand so you're saving 250 by crafting it yourself obviously you need to get to level six in mining to get the recipe for the bomb and even buying wood from the carpenter shop and burning it into charcoal kiln will save you an extra 50 gold it's also 50 gold cheaper to buy the materials for cherry bombs so yeah year one maybe craft them yourself but when you get to year two clint's and robin's prices do rise a little bit so you know buying iron ore and coal is going to be more pricey than getting them from the dwarf so that is a Little tip there now we're going to move on to another price that has been raised in a shop and that is hat prices now i don't have an exact figure on this all we know is some hat prices from the hat mouse have now been raised so once you get an achievement you unlock a new different type of hat from the hat mouse and then you'd buy them some of these have been increased nothing has been reduced and not all of them have been increased it just says some so i think previously before 1.6 if i'm right all of the hats used to cost a thousand gold the same right i think the price was all the same a thousand i could be wrong i could be wrong but now that i've noticed that there's a few of the hats some of them are still 1000 gold but some of them are boosted up like lucky bows 2000 the cool cap the blue one i'm pretty sure that used to be a thousand that's now 5k uh, the bowler hat is 10k the sombero is 25 the cowboy hat is 10 so the prices seem a lot more expensive than they used to be i'm pretty sure they all, they all used to be a thousand but now it seems like they've individually got their own prices so that is the price increases from shops just the three of them casino the dwarf and the hats and now we're going to move on to the most harshest in my opinion and these are the sell prices of certain items that you could craft and produce and sell to make some good money. There is three of them. We'll go for the least harsh and work our way down. So the first one is Fairy Dust. Now Fairy Dust is a craftable item that will allow you to make a machine immediately finish the process of whatever it's carrying out. So for example, if you put an ancient fruit into the keg to make wine, rather than waiting whatever, what, what, six days, you could use a fairy dust and it will instantly make this wine. In order to craft this, you just needed one diamond and one fairy rose, which a diamond is 750 gold base price and a fairy rose base quality is 290. So you're looking at over a thousand gold in order to make fairy dust right and i'm confused because they've now reduced the price of fairy dust to 300 gold instead of 500 so you actually make 200 less this is confusing to me because you could never make money on fairy dust anyway because like i said it's, it's more profitable to, just to sell the diamonds and the fairy rose so this is one that's confused me the most i don't understand why we've had a, re a reduction of 200 gold on the sell price because let's be honest if i made a ton of fairy dust from loads of diamonds and fairy rows and sold the fairy dust i'd be losing money it just wouldn't make sense because they only sell for 500 gold and that alone is just the diamonds so please let me know what is what why is this change why is this being reduced am i missing something was this more overpowered than i thought now I'll move on to another price change and this is the life elixir now this was an edible crafting item and you unlock this at combat level two and in order to craft this, you just needed one of every mushroom, which was a red, a purple, a morel, and a chanterelle. And eating this would give you 200 energy, 90 health. Very, very good to have, um, if, especially if you had the mushroom cave. Making a lot of these was a great food source. Now, these used to sell for 500 gold, but now they've been halved, guys. You can only sell life elixirs for 250 gold. Now, I never actually sold these for, for profit, so I'm gonna work this out. A standard red mushroom, is 75 gold because that's what you need to craft it i'm trying to use the base quality a purple mushroom base is 250 a base morel mushroom was 150 and then the standard chanterelle was 160. each of these mushrooms came to a total of 635 that's the price of the standard quality mushrooms then you'd make the life elixir which would used to sell for 500 so before the 1.6 update you'd lose 135 gold and now they've reduced this even more to only 250 gold per again this is confusing to me because you'd never make profit anyway uh, using the mushrooms to craft the life elixirs you'd never make money on them even when they used to sell for 500 gold so why is this being reduced to 250 this is so strange and i'm not sure why these are being reduced these two that we spoke about because they wasn't profitable anyway so yeah let me know guys what is all that about but the next one and this is the uh the most harsh in my opinion the one that actually affects me because i used to use this technique to make a lot of money and that is 
tea saplings. Now, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure you do the tea sapling method, a great way to make money. So the tea sapling is basically a tea bush which produces tea leaves each day of the final week, uh, spring, summer and fall and winter if it's indoors. So you gather tea leaves from them. You get the recipe from Caroline after her 2 art event. She'd send you the recipe. And in order to craft a tea sapling, you just needed any wild seed. I think you needed two of them, five fiber and five wood. This was pretty crazy because wild seed seeds only sold for 35 gold so that was two of them you needed which was 70 gold and then you needed five fiber like i said and they only sold for a gold each so that's five gold and then five pieces of wood which are two gold each so that's 10. so guys in order to craft a tea sapling it was only going to cost you 85 gold and then you could sell these for 500 gold a whopping 500 gold that is like what over a 400 gold profit which was absolutely insane and, and you could literally make a ton of these tea saplings and make massive amounts of money especially early on in the game but sadly they have reduced the price of what tea saplings sell for it's no longer 500 gold guys it is 250 so yes you still make profit. You know, wild seeds, fiber and wood is still only going to cost 85 gold. And you are obviously going to sell this for 250. So that's a 165 gold profit. But it's nowhere near as good as what it could have been. The previous 415 profit. So it's harsh. You can still make money on them, but not as much. Nowhere near as uh, enough. In my opinion, it's probably maybe even better now just to plant the tea saplings and actually sell the tea leaves or make green tea. I have no idea. Um, the tea sapling method for me now is probably something I'm not going to ever do again. The effort that you've got to go to to get all of the fiber, all of the wild seeds, even just getting the recipe alone from Caroline, it just doesn't seem worth it for me anymore. And that's a, a big negative impact <laughs> on early game profits. It's going to be tough. But that is all of the price changes, guys. Um, yeah, a lot of things have been reduced. A lot of things have been nerfed a little bit you could say um yeah let me know down below are any of these quite impactful on your playthrough like did you use the tea sapling method also let me know about the fairy dust and the life elixir that is so confusing to me I, I have no idea why they've been reduced um maybe there's a reason that i'm just not aware of but you know they're kind of trying to balance out the game a little bit more to make it fair for everybody i'm guessing concern Ape didn't want people to make hundreds of thousands in the first year just from tea saplings because it's kind of like mm, i've made so much money i've advanced in year one you know you kind of want to drag the gameplay out get into year two to start making money you know in masses amount so yeah it makes sense i'm sad though i am sad but it is what it is that is the price changes for stardew valley 1.6 let me know your thoughts on all this down below guys if you did enjoy it and you found this video useful please smash that like button and subscribe to see more 1.6 videos but until then guys i'll see you on the next one stay safe stay cozy